and welcome to our front room for another virtual rhyme time from North Somerset Library Service. I'm Rosie, this is Henry Cooper, my teddy bear, and we've got Simon behind the camera. Say hello, Si. Hello. And today only, down here, we have got my daughter's big bunny. He's going to do some um, very bouncy hopping later. I hope you'll join in with him, but to begin with, we'll start with our welcome rhyme. Henry will wave his hand to you, um, Big Bunny will wave his paw, he's very flexible, he can wave his feet, look, um, and then we'll get going. Are you ready for hello everyone? One, two, three. Hello everyone, how are you today? Very well, thank you, we're okay, we've just begun, we're going to have some fun. It's music, rhythm and rhyme. Very good. So we're going to start with Sleeping Bunnies which you know this what we've done lots of times. You can be asleep on your carpet at home, pretend to be asleep, or you can be like me and pretend to be asleep like this in the chair. Henry and Big Bunny are going to lie down like this. And then when I say, wake up little bunnies, I want you to jump up and hop around until, until I say, stop. And when I say stop, I want you to keep very, very still like statues. Let's see if we can do it. Lie down you two. And I'll lie down like this or pretend to be asleep like this. We are ready to begin. One, two, three. See the bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we try and wake them with a merry tune? Oh, so still are they ill? Shh. Wake up little bunnies. Hop little bunnies, hop, 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 hop little bunnies, hop, 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 hop little bunnies, hop, 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 and stop. Have you kept still? I hope so. Let's try it again. Back to sleep. Ready? One, two, three. See the bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we try and wake them with a merry tune? Oh, so still. Ah. They ill. Shh. Wake up, little bunnies. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Hop and stop. Very good. Right, Henry's going to have a rest there, but Big Bunny's going to do some more hopping now. We're going to do we hop and we hop and we stop, and it's the same thing. I want you to keep really, really still. Are you ready? We hop and we hop and we stop. Are you keeping still? Is Bunny keep? Oh, no, he's not. Keep still, keep still. Let's try it again. We hop and we hop and we stop. Oh, he's quite still now. Quite still now. We hop and we hop and we stop. We hop and 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 we stop. Very good. Let's wave now. Ready to wave your hands? And again, when I say stop, keep really still. Ready? We wave and we wave and we stop. We wave and we wave and we stop. We wave and we wave and we wave and we wave. We wave and we wave and we stop. Well done. Well done. Um, right, another rabbity rhyme now. I think we'll do Peter Rabbit has a bee upon his knee. I know we often do fly upon his nose, but we're not supposed to touch our faces, are we? So we'll do knee, bee, knee upon his bee. B upon his knee. And for this we need two floppy ears, like Big Bunny's got here. So let's put our hands on our heads for our floppy ears. We need curly whiskers. Got any whis He's not got any whiskers, but let's imagine we've got some curly whiskers like that. And a B, put your hands together, two wings and that's the B's body. A B upon his knee. And we flip it and we flop it and the B flies away. Are you ready to begin? Get your ears ready. Ready? One, two, three. Peter Rabbit had a bee upon his knee. Peter Rabbit had a bee upon his knee. Peter Rabbit had a bee upon his knee. So he flipped it and he flopped it and the bee flew away. Get your ears ready. Floppy ears and curly whiskers. Floppy ears and curly whiskers. Floppy ears and curly whiskers and he flipped it and he flopped it and the bee flew away. Well done. Very good. 
Now, last week I got a parcel in the post and I was very excited because Christmas has gone and it's not my birthday, but I've got a parcel. So I'll show you what was in it. It's just put Big Bunny there. Here's my parcel. I opened it up. And inside was this. my friend from school many 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 years ago she knows me very well and she knows I like a silly hat I'm going to put it on which is what I did when I got it out of the parcel so I'll put it on like that and I thought oh this is nice so I thought I'd go and show it Simon so I crept up to his office and peeped round the door just in case he was doing a zoom meeting or something and didn't want to pop up behind him and I said Simon Simon what do you think? And he said, What is that? I said, What? He said, What is that? And, hat? I, and I said, What? And then he said, You look very silly. And I said, Silly? Do you think I look silly? <laughs> yeah, I know I look silly, but do you know what? I love this hat. It's really me. <laughs> And it put me in mind of a rhyme we used to sing, well, a song we used to sing many years ago when I was at school. Um, and it's, do your ears hang low? These are feet, look, these are feet. But they hang low like that. My ears also stand high. The song goes like this. Do your ears hang low? Touch your ears, your own ears. Don't be pulling anyone else's. Do your ears hang low? Do they waggle to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Pretend you tie a knot. Can you tie them in a bow like that? Can you throw them over your shoulder? Pretend you're doing something like that, but do it, imagine, imagine it like that. Can you throw them over your shoulder like a regimental soldier? Do your ears hang low? Shall I have a go? One, two, three. Do your ears hang low? Do they waggle to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a regimental soldier? Do your ears hang low? And there's more. Another verse is, do your ears stand high like that? And we'll do it by putting our hands up in our, on our heads like that. Do, oh, let's tell you the rest of mine. Do your ears stand high? Do they point up to the sky? Getting in the way of aeroplanes. Can you be an aeroplane? Pretend you've got big wings. Meow, meow. Do they get in the way of aeroplanes as they are flying by? And then it's the same. Can you throw them over your shoulder like a regimental soldier? Do your ears stand high? Let's try that one. One, two, three. Do your ears stand high? Do they reach up to the sky? Getting in the way of aeroplanes as they fly by. Can you throw them over your shoulder like a regimental soldier? Do your ears stand high? One more verse. And this one is, do your ears stick out? Can you waggle them about? Um, can you point them to the north? That's up the top of the map. Can you point them to the south? Point down to the bottom of the map. And then it's the same. Can you throw them over your whole shoulder, etc. Shall we try that one? Stick your ears out. Do your ears stick out? Can you waggle them about? Can you point them to the north? Can you point them to the south? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a regimental soldier? Do your ears stick out? I know, it's very silly, like my hat, but hey, it's fine, isn't it? Now, so we've done hoppy rabbits. Simon, can you think, if I take this off, do I look completely bonkers? Is, it, is my hair all sticking up, Simon? Uh, no. No. Can you think of any other um, hoppy creatures, Simon? Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Kangaroo, well, um, I think we'll just park the kangaroo idea. I can't think of a kangaroo in a minute. A anything else? Another uh, hoppy creature? Uh, a flea. A flea. He's doing this on purpose. A flea. Again, we'll just... Can you think of anything else? Anything green and hoppy? Oh, a frog. A frog. Thank goodness for that. A frog. I know lots of rhymes about frogs. And let's do... Oh, I know. Let's do... It starts with a hedgehog is very prickly. But we'll also have a frog is very jumpy. 
We won't do all the verses. Let's see, we'll do a hedgehog, the frog, and then we'll do a baby is very tickly. Come here, Henry. Give you a tickle. Like that. Maybe your grown-ups will tickle you. You can tickle your cuddly. So get your hands ready to be the hedgehog first. Nice prickles. Put them together like that. It would be a hedgehog is very prickly. Ready? A hedgehog is very prickly. A hedgehog is very prickly. A hedgehog is very prickly. It couldn't be anything else. Now we're going to be the frog. Get ready to jump. A frog is very jumpy. A frog is very jumpy. A frog is very jumpy. It couldn't be anything else. Now get ready to be tickled because a baby is very tickly. Ready? One, two, three. A baby is very tickly. A baby is very tickly. A baby is very tickly. It couldn't be anything else. Well done. Another froggy one. I've got froggy finger puppets here. And we're going to do, instead of two little dicky birds, we're going to do two little froggies swimming in a lake. This one's Jessie and this one's Jake. Swim away, Jessie. Swim away, Jake. Come back, Jessie, and come back, Jake. Just like the dicky birds. Ready? One, two, three. Two little froggies swimming in a lake. One named Jessie and one named Jake. Swim away, Jessie. Swim away, Jake. Come back, Jessie, and come back, Jake. Very good. Um, another froggy one. Can I think of another froggy one? No, I'll tell you what, though. Let's do the other dicky bird, the, the one that's a bit like that, but it's two little dicky birds. So I'm going to put on a dicky bird, which I think is probably a goose or a duck, and my favourite dicky bird which is now quite bent, sadly. My flamingo, I'll hold him like that then, he doesn't look too bad. I've got two little dicky birds that's sitting on a wall, one named Peter, one named Paul, and they're gonna fly away. You know this, ready? Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall, one named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter, come back, Paul. Now we'll do the same rhyme again, but we'll call our dicky birds so We'll whisper when we talk about this one, soft. And we'll call Flamingo loud. And we'll say it in a loud voice when we talk about this one. And they're going to be sat on a cloud. Ready? Two little dicky birds sitting on a cloud. One name soft and the other name loud. Fly away soft. Fly away loud. Come back soft. And come back loud. Very good. It's always hard to get off my finger. Pop that one down there because I've thought of something else that's jumpy. Not a kangaroo or a flea, but a monkey. Because we know a rhyme about monkeys jumping on a bed, don't we? I've only got one monkey, but let's have three in our rhyme. So I'll hold three fingers up. You hold three fingers up too. And let's pretend they're jumping on the bed, which is very naughty. Jumping on the bed. One will fall off and he'll bump his head. Just tap your head like that with your hand. Bump his head. Mummy will call the doctor, pretend this is a phone. Mummy called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. We'll do it for three monkeys. Ready? Hold your hands up. One, two, three. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mummy called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So we've got two now, two left, and they're jumping again. <gasps> Ready? Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mummy called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Do you think the last monkey will jump on the bed? Afraid so. One last one. One, two, three. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He jumped off and bumped his head. Mummy called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. And they're not going to jump on the bed anymore because instead they are going to be swinging in a tree like that, teasing Mr. Crocodile like that, saying, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. But along will come Mr. Crocodile as quietly as can be and he will snap a little monkey right out of the tree. Don't worry, they'll all be all right at the end. Okay, so this is your tree. Here are your branches, 
Have your monkeys swinging off bottom like that. Ready? One, two, three. Three little monkeys swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. No, you can't catch me. Along will come a crocodile as quietly as could be and snap a little monkey right out of the tree. So we've got two little monkeys now. Ready to have your monkey swinging? Two little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. No, you can't catch me. Along came a crocodile as quietly as could be and snapped the little monkey right out of the tree. One leg. One little monkey swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. No, you can't catch me. Along came a crocodile as quietly as could be and snapped the little monkey right out of the tree. But they're always back in the tree safe and sound. Look, there we go. Now, something different. Do you know what that is? That is a bobbin. That was my mum's bobbin. She had it on her sewing box and it lives in my sewing box. When it was a new bobbin, it would have had thread or ribbon or something on it. All wrapped around like that. And when we sing the song, wind the bobbin up, that's what we're pretending we're doing. We're winding thread on a bobbin, which is why we do that. We wind, wind it on and we wind it off again. So let's do that rhyme and pretend we're doing that, winding up the bobbin. Are you ready? One, two, three. Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Put your hands up on your knee. Now there's another way of singing that, which is, where's the dinosaur? Where's the dinosaur? You look like that. Look, look, run, run, run. And then it's the same, where's the dinosaur? Where's the dinosaur? Look, look, run, run, run. One on the ceiling, one on the floor, one at the window, one at the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three, and shout, hey, Mr. Dinosaur, you can't catch me. Which is why I thought this was, it's like the monkey shout of the crocodile. Are you ready? I'm gonna look for a dinosaur. One, two, three. Where's the dinosaur? Where's the dinosaur? Look, look, run, run, run. Where's the dinosaur? Where's the dinosaur? Look, look, run, run, run. There's one on the ceiling and one on the floor, one at the window and one at the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Shout, hey, Mr. Dinosaur, you can't catch me. Very good, well done. Now, it's nearly time to finish, but I've just thought of a kangaroo, a rhyme we could do with a kangaroo in just to show Simon. And it's, it's cheating a bit because it's Mary had a kangaroo. Mary had a kangaroo. There's another thing about kangaroos besides them being jumpy. They have got a lovely pouch on their tummies where they can hold their babies or their joeys. It's a bit like a pocket. Imagine having a little baby kangaroo in your pocket, which would be rather nice. So let's sing. Mary had a kangaroo. Um, no, Mary, how does it go? Mary had a kangaroo, kangaroo, kangaroo. Mary had a kangaroo. Its pouch was soft and warm. Let's try that. Ready? One, two, three. Mary had a kangaroo, kangaroo, kangaroo. Mary had a kangaroo. Its pouch was soft and warm. I'll think of a flea for one another day, I think, because it's nearly time to finish. Um, so we better do our goodbye rhyme. So we're going to reach down and touch our toes, our knees, our chest, not our nose. We're going to tickle our tummy, we're going to hold our hands high, and then we're going to wave bye-bye. Are you ready? One, two, three. Everybody touch your toes, it's a long way down. Everybody touch your knees. Everybody touch your chest. Don't touch your nose. Tickle your tummy, hold your hands high. Everybody wave bye-bye. Bye-bye from all of us. Big Bunny, Henry, me. Sign by the camera again, shout bye-bye. 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 Flea rhyme next time. Okay. Take care, everybody. Keep rhyming, keep sharing books, keep yourself safe, and I hope to see you back for another rhyme time soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>